All right. We are here to give you a good time, and Marcus Wilson is going to start mm -hmm. that all off for you. How important do you think a, a live music scene is to a city? Oh, it's absolutely necessary. I mean, Vancouver is beautiful and like, it's gorgeous, but you know, if it didn't have a cultural scene, if it didn't have musicians and artists, it would just be like, that's just odd to say because I'm a blonde. It would just be like a dumb blonde with like no substance. I haven't really spent much time in like bigger cities, um, but I know Vancouver has a reputation for being a bit of a, you know, people are a bit closed off and don't really go see live music, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's been good. I mean, I think like people are starting to like really just go out and see shows. Come on now, sweet. city do for live music? I have mixed feelings about that. That's okay, so this, this is why we're here. I don't here. know, I, um, I feel like Vancouver specifically um, spends a lot of effort uh, supporting a very specific kind of music, mm. um, mostly indie rock, but I, f I find it a bit discouraging because I know that there's so much more here. Mm. All right. Do you think there's a hub right now at all in Vancouver? Like, there's a particular venue that yeah. people are connected to? My favorite venue is the Cobalt. It is, Definitely. eh? I love that place, yeah. And what do you love about the Cobalt? I like its history. It's been in Vancouver since, like, the 40s. Mm -hmm. um, the reputation it has. Yeah, I mean, people definitely go to Cobalt. They do. To eh? hang out, yeah. Only because the Cobalt has live music, like, every night of the week. My favorite venue used to be the Biltmore, which I think is awesome, and now I'm like in love with the Waldorf. Just in my experience in the last little while, it seems like more people are now opening up to actually having live music in the venues, like even the clubs on Granville Street, mm -hmm, where they I would know. never, ever, you know, touch a live rock band yeah. on Friday night. Emmanuel, we can't forget the memories, but we need to let go of the past. But um, I live off Commercial Drive, and uh, I wish that they would um, ease up on some of the liquor licenses or whatever it is. Like, you're not technically you're not allowed to dance on the drive, and everything has to be closed by 12 or 1. But it's an amazing neighborhood. You're not allowed to dance on the drive. You're not I, allowed I'm... to dance in a in a in a restaurant or a place music because that would make. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna no, see what happens. Yeah, no, like. 